Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the latest news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued three royal decrees for the year 2017. The first decree appointed His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa as Governor of the Southern Region for a period of four years. The second decree reappointed Nawaf Muhammad Al Mawada as Ombudsman at the Ministry of Interior with the rank of an Under Secretary for a period of five years. Finally, the third decree appointed Sheikh Hamad bin Isa bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa as General Manager of the National Charter Edifice. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabiya Palace today a number of state officials, businessmen, intellectuals and journalists. He affirmed that the government has adopted effective policies to develop the national economy, boost investment and economic cooperation at both the regional and global levels and attract investors to the kingdom. His Royal Highness noted that the economy is the root of development, which is why the government has formulated its strategies and plans to be more dynamic to ensure national development. The Premier praised the values of coexistence, virtue and enlightenment of the Bahraini people, which attracts investment. He also discussed with the audience the latest local developments, where he emphasised the importance of documenting the efforts of those who strive for the development of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a number of members from the late Sheikh Salman bin Rashid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa's family, where they expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his condolences, affirming that His Royal Highness represents a model of leadership. His Royal Highness stated that communication between citizens in various circumstances is a duty, noting that it strengthens national unity. The guests wished His Royal Highness abundant health and happiness.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabia Palace today the editor-in-chief of Kuwaiti Al Sayasa newspaper, Ahmed Abdulaziz Al Jarala. His Royal Highness reviewed with the guests the latest regional developments, the efforts of the government to speed up development in the kingdom, Bahrain's achievements in various fields, and the investment opportunities and incentives for businessmen that the kingdom provides. He went on to hail the role of journalism and its effective participation in helping the public understand the challenges the region faces and the efforts exerted to combat terrorism and protect people, noting the role of Kuwaiti journalism, especially Al Sayasan newspaper, at the Gulf and Arab levels, as well as their efforts to highlight Gulf achievements in various fields to enhance brotherly relations between countries that share the aims of defending regional causes. The Prime Minister commended Al Siasa newspaper for being a media platform with a well-established regional status, expressing appreciation for the leading role of Ahmed Al Jarala in the development of journalism in Kuwait. His Royal Highness highlighted the relations between Bahrain and Kuwait and the development they witnessed that qualifies them to be a model for advanced relations between countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa visited the Royal Guards headquarters today to honour BDF Task Force 12, which participated in Operation Restoring Hope as part of the Saudi-led Arab Coalition mission to restore stability in Yemen. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince was received by Defence Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalhama, the BDF's Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Tayyab bin Sakal Al Noemi. The Royal Guards Commander, His Highness Brigadier Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The Royal Guards Special Forces Commander, His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa and senior officers. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed pride and gratitude in the achievements and sacrifices made by BDF forces participating as part of the Saudi-led Arab coalition mission in Yemen. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the BDF's high level of combat readiness and proficiency as well as their unwavering commitment and honourable service to the Kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid. سيدي يتشرف العميد الركن سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة. Following the national anthem and an inspection of the Guard of Honor, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince listened to a recitation of verses from the Holy Quran. His Highness Brigadier Sheikh Nasser then gave the following speech. سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله ورعاه. أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة والضيوف الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته 
سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي إنه لشرف كبير الحرس الملكي بتفضل سموكم في هذا اليوم لتكريم هذه النخبة من أبنائكم في قوة الواجب 12 والتي عادت مؤخراً ميادين الرجولة والعزة والشرف بعد مشاركتها ضمن قوة التحالف العربي ومساندتها للقوات المسلحة الشقيقة الكبرى المملكة العربية السعودية والقوات المسلحة الإماراتية ونصرة للشعب اليمني الشقيق وحكومته الشرعية المنتخبة كما تقوم قواتنا سيدي مع قوات التحالف العربي في محاربة ومكافحة الإرهاب وتنظيماته فلقد أضافت هذه الواجبات لقواتنا القوة والمهارة والمناعة والاتزان في القتال وأكسبتهم الكثير من الخبرات العملياتية والتكتيكية والتنظيمية خلال العمليات المباشرة المختلفة التي شاركت وتشارك بها قواتنا والتي لا زالت مستمرة لغاية الآن مع شقائهم في الذود عن الدين والوطن وعلى هذه المبادئ والنهج القويم ستكون قواتنا الباسلة كما أرادتها قيادتنا الرشيدة سيوفا مشرعة لإحقاق الحق بوقوفنا مع الأشقاء ضمن التحالف العربي والإسلامي للحفاظ على وحدتنا الخليجية والعربية والإسلامية من خلال عمليات عسكرية منظمة ومشتركة في مكافحة الإرهاب كما نقوم بالعمل والتنسيق معا على متابعة بؤر ومنابع الإرهاب والتعاون المشترك فيما بيننا بالتصدي له بكفاءة الطرق والوسائل المتاحة صاحب السمو الملكي في هذه المناسبة أقدم لكم خالص الشكر وعظيم الامتنان على دعمكم ومساندتكم الدائم لأبنائكم في قوة الدفاع كما أتقدم لصاحب المعالي القائد العام والقيادة العامة بالشكر والتقدير على مساندتهم وتذليلهم لكافة الصعاب خلال المهام المساندة لنا وفي الختام أدعو الله العزيز القدير أن يحفظ قائد مسيرتنا سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة ملك البلاد المفدى القائد الأعلى سنداً وذخراً للأمة العربية والإسلامية وأن يحفظ مملكتنا من كل مكروه وأن تبقى رايات عزها ومجدها خفاقة في كافة الميادين والمحافل الدولية والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then presented medals awarded by His Majesty the King to members of BDF Task Force 12 in recognition of their service.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received at Trafar Palace today the newly appointed Ambassador of Malaysia to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Aja Salim Haji Yusuf. His Royal Highness welcomed the Ambassador, underlining the progressing bilateral ties and the Kingdom's continued commitment to advancing cooperation with Malaysia in various sectors. He wished him success in his diplomatic assignment. His Royal Highness also praised Malaysia's progress and development, noting its significant recent successes and achievements in terms of economic development. The meeting provided an opportunity for His Royal Highness and the newly appointed Malaysian Ambassador to review the latest regional and international developments, as well as issues of common interest. The Ambassador expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and for His Royal Highness's continued support in further advancing Bahraini-Malaysian relations and bilateral cooperation. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa received Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, who introduced the participants in the founding program of the new diplomats organised by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The program is aimed at graduating qualified national cadres to serve Bahrain's foreign policy. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa was briefed by the Foreign Minister on the noble objectives of the program, which aims to introduce participants to the correct basis of diplomatic relations and the basics of forming relations between countries within a diplomatic framework. His Highness Sheikh Nasser conveyed to them greetings from His Majesty the King, expressing His Majesty's pride in the youth of Bahrain for their great sacrifices for the progress of the country and for their dedication to preserving the Kingdom's security and protecting its achievements. His Highness said that His Majesty the King fully recognises the important role of young people in the Kingdom's growth, prosperity and protection. His Majesty has also directed all the sectors of the Kingdom to provide a balanced and comprehensive care for young people and meet their needs. His Highness underlined the important role of young people to gain knowledge and skills in the diplomatic field. He said that Kingdom of Bahrain is always looking forward to building strong relations with all countries on the basis of mutual respect, good neighbourliness and common interests. However, Bahrain refuses for anyone to interfere in its internal affairs. He said that some countries hostile to the Kingdom and terrorist organisations are trying to distort Bahrain's reputation and that Bahraini youth have a responsibility to address and resolve the propaganda of those countries and organisations. His Highness added that the programme of New Diplomats is one of the outstanding and successful programmes offered by the Foreign Ministry, which confirms the Ministry's strategy to qualify a number of Bahraini diplomats to be future ambassadors of the Kingdom. The Foreign Minister expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa for meeting the participants in the programme, noting that His Highness is inspiring Bahraini youth, giving them confidence and strength to continue the challenge to be the best future ambassadors for the Bahrain. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs stated that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the guidance of His Majesty the King, is keen to qualify a number of young diplomats to implement the Kingdom's foreign policies based on the principles of brotherhood, friendship and common interests, in addition to confronting all those who defame Bahrain and broadcast false news about it, stressing the Kingdom of Bahrain has a wise and honest diplomacy. Later in the meeting, an open discussion was held between His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the participants.
The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of West Asian Athletics Federation, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, on the victory of runner Rose Chalimo. Achieving first place and the gold medal in the marathon held today at the World Athletic Championship held in London. His Highness affirmed that this historical achievement made by Chalimo is considered the results of the leadership's commitment to sports as well as the support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to all national teams, especially the athletics teams. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stated that the achievement was a result of the efforts of the Bahrain Athletic Association's Board of Directors in preparing runners to participate in various international forums. His Highness praised the achievements of champion athlete Rose Chilimo that strengthens Bahrain's position amongst the world's top players and wished her success in all future events.